great white shark versus giant squid. What comes to mind when you think of the scariest creature in the oceans? Did a great white shark swim right in? Well, you would not be wrong, they certainly can be frightening. Also known as the largest predatory fish on the planet, they boast an average length of 15 feet and can weigh up to a massive 5,000 pounds. With a powerful torpedo-shaped body whose tail sends them speeding through the waters, they can then latch onto their prey with their 300 serrated and triangular teeth. However, they might not be the all-fearsome predators you think they are. In fact, evidence suggests that they could even be prey to some larger sea creature out there. That is exactly what a newly released study proves, as scientists believe that somewhere out there in the large Pacific Ocean, these great white sharks are being attacked by massive squids. How so? By the large scars and sucker marks found on the sharks. Although this might sound too similar to a classic prehistoric animal battle movie, there is documented research that such encounters have occurred. They mostly take place in Guadalupe Island near the Baja, California coast. In the examination of 14 great white sharks during a span of five years, most of them developed unique scars on their heads and trunks before they reached full adulthood. Such wounds suggest that a squid tried to defend itself from the shark. Because of their proximity to the volcanic island, which is otherwise known for being a feeding site for the most apex of predators, encounters between sharks and cephalopods are not unique. However, there are not too many documented interactions between great whites and large squids, which makes these findings especially mysterious. It is definitely not impossible either. In the region of Great White Shark Territory, there are several squid hotspots with a huge variety, ranging from foot-long neon flying squids to giant squids that can grow to a huge length of 46 feet. This sheds plenty of light upon the fact that squids play a big role as prey for adult Great Whites. What is even cooler is the depth at which these fights are taking place. Not only are they deep, but they are also taking place in the twilight zone, which is the layer of water that even sunlight cannot penetrate, at about 650 to 3,300 feet deep. In the end, scientists have yet to find direct evidence that proves that giant squids were the ones that caused the sucker marks and scarring. However, they do believe that the culprits are likely the jumbo squid, the neon flying squid, and the giant squid. No matter what, one thing is for sure, these marks are certainly indicative of an extremely aggressive encounter between predator and prey. If the squid is strong enough, then the suction power of their arms and tentacles can deform the shark dermal denticle structure and cause open wounds. It seems that the great white shark may not be the most unchallengeable sea creature out in the ocean. The Cannibal Chimp Cannibalism, the act of eating the flesh of one's own species, is universally considered to be amongst the most abhorrent of human behaviours, with the gruesome practice condemned as a taboo in almost all human cultures. Yet, in the animal kingdom, cannibalism is a fairly common occurrence in some species, and one that, as a natural and instinctive animal behaviour, is viewed with much less disgust. Except in instances such as this one. In December 2014, a group of scientists led by Hitonoru Nishi of Kyoto University in Japan, who were studying chimpanzees in Tanzania's Mahali Mountains, were shocked and excited to witness the exceedingly rare sight of a mother chimp called Devota giving birth, in full view of the 20 or so other members of the group. It is well known that females tend to hide away for a period before and after giving birth, an absence known as maternity leave. Yet more shocking and highly disturbing was what the scientists observed. For the first time ever, a few seconds later, a male chimp called Darwin from the same group snatched the baby from its mother the moment it emerged and ran off with it into the bush, so fast in fact that Devota did not have time to even touch her newborn. The researchers set off in search of Darwin and found him over an hour later sitting up a tree clutching and eating away at the remains of the infant chimp. As he ate it, bits of the infant's body falling to the ground were picked up and consumed by other chimpanzees. Although the scientists were unable to ascertain whether the baby had been taken out by Darwin or been born still, what the incident did prove 
was an indication of why female chimpanzees leave their groups in the run-up to and aftermath of birth, to protect their young from being taken out by unrelated males. This grisly behavior, repulsive as it undoubtedly is to humans, has an evolutionary explanation, first expounded by Charles Darwin, whereby males go to extreme lengths to procure a female with whom to mate and produce offspring of their own, thus enabling their genes to be passed down through the generations. This chilling yet fascinating story serves as a stark reminder of the importance of survival and the extremes that animals will go to to ensure their bloodline continues, even to the extent of stealing and eating the babies of others in their groups. Something to remember when you are next at a zoo watching those cheeky chimps swinging around their cages, pulling funny faces. The New Endangered Species Historically, the monkey was a distant cousin of the developed human race, also known as the Homo sapien. Even to this day, the genetic similarities we share with these complex creatures is remarkable. In fact, we humans share over 90% of our DNA with monkeys. Yet the inexplicable differences between them and us are so stark that we often fail to realize this. Perhaps unsurprisingly, but most definitely sadly, this has led to some humans neglecting to preserve this fascinating animal, instead opting to destroy their habitats in pursuit of a quick buck. As you are about to see, this egotistical behavior has led to some unfortunate consequences. In 2020, a new species of monkey was discovered in the formerly volcanic mountain known as Mount Popper, located in Burma, Southeast Asia. The mountain is only one part of a stunning yet foreboding landscape that plays host to rainforests, plains and peaks alike. The mountain also has a holy significance, being a place frequented by pilgrims. This may have something to do with the fact that the mountain is said to play host to a variety of spirits. The recently discovered species, called the Popalanga, is a medium-sized monkey with a grey hue that mostly gorges upon leaves. Yet, the sad thing about this discovery is the believed size of the population of this species, with estimates ranging from a mere 200 to 250. As a result, the Popalanga was swiftly deemed as critically endangered, something fairly unprecedented given that it has only just been discovered. There is little doubt that its endangered status is due to habitat loss and hunting. With that said, it is important to note that the Popalanga had actually been spotted before by locals, but it was not until recently that scientists mapped out the species' DNA and confirmed that it qualifies as a new species. Scientists' suspicions that there could be an undiscovered breed lurking in the area were first aroused upon examining DNA samples collected from the excrement of wild monkeys. Funnily enough, researchers realized that they already had possessed a sample of the monkey in question for over 100 years, courtesy of the London Natural History Museum. This proved to be extremely useful as scientists were able to cross-reference the old DNA samples with the newly discovered ones to figure out the subtle genetic differences that cause a new species to be defined. Although the outlook for the Popalango may seem dire at the moment, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Scientists hope that their newfound understanding of the genetic makeup of the species will help them to preserve the species and slowly nurse its population to a stable level. The Human-Monkey Mix With humanity's ever-increasing scientific and technological prowess, it is understandable that sometimes weird and wacky inventions can spring up. Some of these can have useful applications, and others may fail or even cause controversy by blurring the lines of ethical practice and research in the name of science. What you are about to see is a bit of both. Our next story could help scientists better understand diseases, human evolution, and even aging. Although it comes at a price, as it is likely that the end product will find itself in the midst of an ethical battleground. Back in April of 2021, scientists managed to create monkey embryos with human cells under laboratory conditions. Although similar experiments have been conducted before, 
This is the first time that scientists managed to fuse the cells of a human and a primate. These hybrids have been termed chimeras due to their doctor genetic makeup. So far, chimeras have only been used for medical purposes. For example, researchers have created mice with human immune systems to study certain conditions. The process of creating the embryos was no easy feat. Scientists had to inject 25 human stem cells each into 132 fertilized monkey embryos. The concoction of human and monkey cells was then left to culture in a petri dish. The stem cells were made in a way that caused them to emit a fluorescent red protein, which signaled that they had integrated within the embryos. In this case, a chimera with a much more similar composition to that of a human would have immense implications for the field of human biology, allowing scientists to understand the effects of aging and disease. There is even the possibility of using them to mass-produce human organs to assuage any future shortages. With that said, many are worried about the ethics of what could come if these embryos were allowed to develop, as in this case, the embryonic cells were destroyed after 20 days. Had these embryos turned into human monkey chimeras, a fierce debate about their standing in society would have ensued. There is the possibility that these creatures could have a similar mental capacity to humans, rendering the harvesting of organs or any invasive experimentation completely immoral. While this time this pressing issue was mainly averted given the swift destruction of the cells, it is only a matter of time before humans are capable of nursing these cells into a part human, part monkey chimera. When this day arrives, science may have a lot to answer for. But what are your views on these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.